hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to the portal okay once again we are back with the lesson four of acids and bases okay guys so in lesson four we are going to focus on uh, the equilibrium constant of water equilibrium constant of the acid and the equilibrium constant of the base okay so first thing first we look at auto ionization of water okay and then we look at the equilibrium constant of water okay and then uh, and end up with uh, equilibrium constant of the acid and of the base okay let's get to it guys okay so now uh, auto ionization of water so from the previous videos that I've been making uh, by now I think you understand that ionization when we're talking about ionization in water it means that there's reaction uh, of the water molecule and something that we have added to the water uh, okay so now here is what auto ionization of water what does it mean okay so for example if i say i have a beaker here now my beaker uh, is filled with uh, water molecules right so uh, this can happen at uh, different temperatures okay so inside this water we have water molecules isn't it we have many water molecules okay so now uh, we know that water is what is an ampholite right we know that water is an ampholite meaning water can act as an acid and as a base okay it can be an acid and it can also be what a base okay so what happens now inside water uh, between two uh, water molecules we'll have a water molecule and another uh, water molecule so now between these two water molecules uh, there will be acid base uh, reaction between the two water molecules so there will be this one will be acid this one will be what a base okay so an acid donates a proton when water donates a proton uh, it changes to be what to be oh minus so and when water accept the proton it changes to be what to be hydronium ion isn't it so now this is called autoprotolysis uh, or auto ionization of water okay so now we can see that here i have uh, water and water so i might as well say two water molecule uh, giving us uh, hydroxide plus hydronium ion okay so that's all there is to it um auto ionization of water okay so now as you can see that we have a reversible reaction meaning we have a rate at which uh, forward reaction is taking place and the rate at which reverse reaction is taking place okay so uh, we can find an equilibrium constant of this reaction okay so this water it's liquid right and then these ions they are what in aqua solution okay so now we can find what our uh, equilibrium constant of water okay so now the equilibrium constant is known as what it is known as k okay so now because we are talking 
of water is what kw equilibrium constant of water okay guys so now uh what is the general uh general equation for equilibrium constant general equation for equilibrium constant is what is concentration of products right divided by concentration of what of reactants isn't it you know this from the chapter equilibrium okay so now if i do the one that is specific to uh, to the equilibrium constant of water so kw is going to be the concentration of uh, hydroxide multiplied by concentration of what of hydronium ion so divided by so here we would add the water but now we can't because water is a liquid right and then liquid uh, their concentration does not change it remains to be one okay so same as solid so we don't include them in the equilibrium um, equation in the equilibrium constant uh, expression so now i just put one in the place of water so now uh, giving us kw is equal to that uh, hydronium ion multiplied by concentration of uh, hydroxide so now this is the equilibrium constant uh, for for water okay so now this varies at uh, uh, you know at different temperatures this value of kw varies at different temperatures so uh, now there's a, there are temperatures whereby uh, the value of kw is high and there are temperatures whereby the value of kw is low but the one that we will deal with mostly is the one uh, of room temperature okay or the standard temperature which is um, 2 298 kelvins right or what we can say 25 degrees celsius excuse me so now at this uh, now at 298 kelvins kw is equals to 1 times 10 exponent negative 40 so this kw is unitless okay so now i can say uh, the hydronium concentration multiplied by hydroxide uh, concentration is equals to 1 times 10 to the power minus 14 at 298 kelvins okay so we will use this later uh, later on um, so now uh, what happens uh, what ha let's do another example Uh, let's do uh, an example all right so uh, if we we add right, if we add an acid okay let's say if uh, we add an acid at uh, okay if we add an acid to water at uh, 298 kelvins right
will the KW of water will the KW uh, value change? Will the KW value change? Okay. So question is what? If it changes, will it uh, 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 increase? Increase or remain the same? Or remain the same? That's the question. Okay. So now, how do we answer this question? We have to look at uh, that. What does an acid do? Remember, according to Arrhenius, an acid, uh, an acid is supposed to what to increase. Uh, Acid is supposed to increase what? Uh, the concentration of what? Of hydronium in, uh, uh, in water, right? So, acid increases concentration of what? Of uh, hydronium ion uh, in water. Okay? So, now. Uh, you will notice that when we add an acid, uh, what do we do? We will have, it means we are uh, increasing the concentration of what? Of the hydronium in water. You see? So, now, if we increase the concentration of the hydronium in water, what will happen to the KW? Will it increase? Decrease or remain the same? Hmm? Think about it. Okay, did you think about it? Okay, now the answer is the KW will not change, will remain the same. So answer is what? It's a remain the same. Okay? Why? If they can ask you why, you say that a, a concentration uh, does not affect the KW uh, value. Okay? So only temperature, only temperature, change uh, affects the KW value okay but what will uh, happen here the uh, hydronium uh, concentration will increase but the KW value is not going to increase so such questions you can expect them in multiple choice they can ask you that question okay so now uh, let's proceed to talk about uh, let's talk of ionization uh, equation of uh, you know <coughs> of general uh, acids okay Ionization equation of general acids. Uh, okay, so an acid, a general acid, is represented by HA. Okay, so HA in water, uh, it gives us what? It gives us uh, the hydronium plus the negative uh, charge. Okay. So, what happens now if we were to calculate uh, the co uh, the equilibrium constant for acid? So, so.
so what will happen here we will say that k a right equilibrium constant of a c is equal to uh, what concentration of what of hydronium ion multiplied by the concentration of what of the acid right divided by uh, the analytical concentration of the original acid okay so it's like that okay so you can also be written like this divided by the analytical concentration of HA okay so this uh, concentration is the one that they give you uh, on the statement saying that uh, HC, uh, HCl of concentration blah 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 so if you can notice now is that uh, from this equation uh, on on the numerator is what is the product right and on the denominator is what is a reactant so meaning that if the acid that we have ionizes uh, with a larger uh, you know amount so meaning we're going to have uh, a larger value of hydronium and of the ion so the more value we have uh, it means the more ionization we have it means we're going to have a larger numerator than the name that the than the denominator meaning that uh, when uh, ka when the acid is uh, is dissolved in water the acid will ionize and will, uh, will have more ions uh, in water uh, than it, it it will than the, the remaining part that will not be dissociated so now if this k a value is greater than one it means that it means that uh, 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 this product this product is what is greater than the analytical concentration okay and then similarly if it's less than one it means that uh, this product is less than uh, this um this concentration okay so uh where do I, I i want to go with this is that um if k is greater than one therefore there is if k k a is greater than one then the the forward reaction which is the reaction of forming hydronium ion is favored then the formation of uh, 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 of hydronium ion is favored okay is favored and then k a less than one formation of hydronium is not favored so you know from a, a equilibrium constant from a, 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 a the chatelier's principle that uh, when the kc value there is greater than uh, one uh, therefore the rate favors the product and when it's less than one it favors reactants also is something like that okay so but how will we apply this k value because we are not going to ask you to come up with the expression or calculate the expression so but we can ask you 
uh, if I have two acids, I have acid A and what? And acid B. Okay, so acid A has Ka value of 1 times 10 to the power minus 3. And then this one has Ka value of 1.2 times 10 to the power uh, minus 3. So now, if I can, if they can ask you, uh, which which acid is a stronger acid? Which acid between A and B is a stronger acid? What will you say? You will say that. Uh, you will look at the acid with a higher Ka value, right? So why the higher the Ka value, it means that the more the forward reaction, which is the uh, the, 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 the the ionization, meaning that the one with higher uh, value of Ka will have. Uh, more ions in solution, more ions of hydronium in solution as compared to the other one. Okay, so now Ka, sorry, acid A, acid A uh, is the stronger, is the stronger uh, acid. Okay, why? Because it has a larger, a larger Ka value. Okay. So now uh, let me give you some uh, conclusion. Okay, some guideline. So now the larger the Ka value, right, uh, means the higher the concentration, concentration of hydronium ion and the lower the pH okay now remember you could ask you about the strength of the acid by using pH values the one with the lowest pH values will be what will be uh, a stronger acid but now here we have used Ka so if I use Ka I'm going to look at the one with the larger Ka value and then the one with the larger Ka value it means that uh, the, the, the products, the concentration of the products will be much higher as compared to uh, the concentration of reactants okay so now meaning uh, the larger K value will uh, mean that we have more of the hydronium ion as what the, 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 the acid itself inside the water okay so now the larger the Ka value the higher the concentration of hydronium ion and the lower the pH and, and vice versa okay and also the lower the Ka value, the uh, lower the, uh, the hydronium concentration, and what the higher the pH. Okay. 
so that's all there is to it with a K8 so now let's go to uh, to KB so um, so now let's check out uh, 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 the so the so Association Association of a, a, a base, okay, of a general base. So, a general base will have something that has a, an alkali metal holding on to the anion. So, when the, the alkali metal lets go of the anion, you have what you have. Uh, negative anion uh, in water uh, to produce what? To produce uh, hydroxide ion plus what? Plus HA. Okay? So this is reversible as well. So, now, uh, you will check that this was a base and this was an acid and now this is acid and this is base so we have conjugate acid base pairs here this one and this one are conjugate acid base pairs and this one and this one they are conjugate acid base pairs okay so now what about the equilibrium constant of of, of a base right So the equilibrium constant of base, we will have what? We will have Kb. We are calling it what? Kb. So we will say concentration of hydroxide multiplied by uh, concentration of uh, uh, HA okay, divided by concentration of what of uh, a minus okay so uh, now this is what uh, uh, KB looks like okay so this a minus uh, it could also be um, maybe sodium hydroxide so but this a minus will it will just be uh, you know a negative ion of a base okay so i will give an example so now even here what what are we looking at we are looking at what we are looking at the, uh, the concentration of the product okay so whatever that applied in the acid in the base in in the acid in ka also will apply here okay so example if i i have uh let's say ammonia right ammonia uh in water what is going to happen? Ammonia in water. So now, ammonia in water, I'm going to have what? I'm going to have NH4 plus and what? And OH minus. So the KB of this reaction will be what? Concentration of OH minus and what? NH4 plus over concentration of what of ammonia okay so check this here this NH3 it's what is this base A minus and OH minus is this is this one and then uh, NH4 plus is what is this HA is the acid is the conjugate acid in this uh, in this manner okay so now also kb when it's greater than one 
favors uh, formation of OH minus, right? And then KB less than one favors formation of what of the reverse which is the nh3 okay and then now we can conclude and say uh, uh, okay now the larger the kb value The larger the KB value, okay, the higher the concentration of uh, hydroxide, right? And what? The higher the pH, right? The higher the pH. Okay, so now, uh, now the lower the KB value, uh, the okay, here I've written the twice. Okay, the larger the KB value, the higher, the higher concentration of it. Okay, the lower the KB value, the uh, lower the concentration of hydroxide, and what the lower the pH. Okay. And hence, uh, the weaker the base. Okay, so now this is what I wanted you to to see. So if I compare uh, two uh, bases, base one and uh, and base two. So if base one has KB value of uh, 2,3 times 10 to the power minus 1 and uh, this one is KB of 2.5 uh, and then <laughs> times 10 to the power minus 2 they ask you between base 1 and base 2 which one is a stronger base so when you look at the guidelines uh, you look at this now the larger kb value means higher concentration of hydroxide and higher concentration of hydroxide it means it dissociates more than the other one you see so and then the higher uh, the ph remember higher ph means the more alkaline okay so which one will have a higher ph or more alkaline or more basic it will be the one with the larger ph with a larger pH, yes, which is this one also with the larger what KB value. So base one uh, will be a stronger uh, base. Will be a stronger base. Okay. So now, uh, how does KA KB and KW relate to each other. Okay, so KA, KB, and KW they are related like this. We know that uh, an acid, what in water, gives us uh, hydronium plus. A minus, isn't it? And we know that a base 
uh, is what a minus plus water to give us what to give us OH minus uh, plus HA isn't it so from here we will calculate KA and then here we calculate KB so we know that uh, KA is equals to the hydronium ion concentration uh, multiplied by what the A minus right over uh, over uh, HA over uh, H A over concentration of H A and what K B is equals to what is equals to uh, concentration of H minus multiplied by concentration of H A divided by uh, concentration of uh, of the base itself so now if we can multiply uh, ka multiplied by kb what are we going to get so we will get uh, let's do this okay over ha multiplied by oh minus times ha over concentration of a minus so if you check this uh, properly what will happen here we have h a which will cancel not h a we have a minus which will cancel a minus we have h a which will cancel h a so what are we going to be left with we are going to be left with what we're going to be left with concentration of hydronium ion multiplied by concentration of what of hydroxide okay so what is this we know that ah concentration of hydro near multiplied by concentration of uh, of hydroxide is known as what as the kw okay so right here it's ka times kb uh, and gives us what kw so now we know that oh ka when multiplied by kb gives us what kw okay that's something that you need to know okay so this is not examinable they will not ask you to to derive this uh, but it is beneficial for you for uh, for some of you uh, who are interested and would love to study chemistry would love to go further in chemistry okay so uh, the other thing that you can relate acid base and uh, uh, and water is this because now we know that kw is what is uh, uh, concentration of hydronium multiplied by concentration of hydroxide okay and we know that at 298 this is uh, equals to what is equals to oh minus which is not not oh minus this concentration of uh, hydronium times concentration of h minus is equals to times 10 to the power minus 14 okay so now this equation uh, will give us to something um, uh, that is like this so if i can try to solve uh, this uh, uh, kw equation so if i can introduce log and okay this will not be asked uh, from you to do this okay so now if i introduce log everything both uh, both sides okay so if i introduce log both sides right according to log the log of a product is what is the sum of logs isn't it so plus the log of oh 
minus equals to now uh, remember here I have log of base 10 log uh, into 10 exponent something so this log will eliminate that 10 I'll be left with negative 14 on the other side so now I have a log of uh, hydronium and what the log of hydroxide so if I divide both sides by negative I'll have negative log of hydronium ion minus log of hydroxide okay equals to 14 so now I know that oh this thing looks familiar negative log of hydronium is what is pH and plus negative log of uh, hydroxide is what is P O H is equals to what is equals to 14 so we have derived another uh, 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 very nice thing that we are going to use okay we have derived this thing okay so you will not be asked to derive this okay so uh, you do not have to understand how this is derived okay <coughs> so now we have two important uh, equations we have the one of kw and this one okay so now why do we derive this so now example I'll give, let me give you another so we have this okay let me move to another page okay so for example they ask you let me write those uh, equations okay equals to 1 times 10 to the power minus 14 at 298k right and pH plus POH is equals to 14 at 298 kelvins okay so you are going to use this two formula okay so now example example right a solution has a pH of uh, 13.5 right and then calculate the concentration of the hydroxide ion in this in the solution in the solution yes what are we going to do uh, what are you going to do so now look at what is asked you are asked to calculate concentration of what of hydroxide ion right but what are you given? You are given pH. So pH is related to what? To hydronium ion, not hydroxide ion. So you cannot directly calculate the hydroxide concentration from the pH. So what can you do? You can use one of the, the formula. Okay. So you are given pH. We know that we are asked to calculate what? OH minus concentration of OH minus. So concentration of OH minus. Uh, is related to what? It's related to uh, to POH, which is uh, 10 to the exponent negative POH. This uh, equation. So, in order for you to get concentration of hydroxide, you need to know POH. But now you only know pH. So, what do we do now? We use this uh, this formula, the second one. So pH plus POH is equal to what is equal to 14 so we're going to say okay pH plus POH is equal to what is equal to 
14 okay so what are we given we are given ph okay we are given ph so ph is what is 13.5 so plus poh is equals to 14 so now i'll transpose i'll take this 13.5 take it to the other side so i have poh is equals to 14 minus 13.5 okay so 14 minus uh, uh, 13.5 i think that leaves us with a 0.5 okay yes it leaves us with 0.5 so we are left with 0 0.5 this is our poh so what does uh, poh that is less than 7 imply it implies that our solution is alkaline okay and then the ph of greater than 7 also implies that our solution is alkaline so now that i have poh i can use i can proceed to use this okay so now i come and say oh minus uh, is equals to 10 exponent negative poh and then i, I substitute my poh value which is 0 0.5 okay then when i press my calculator uh, I get concentration of 0, 0,31 316 mole per decimeter cube so this is how uh, this question can be asked okay so uh, alternatively example 2 example 2 so a solution uh, was found to have uh, a concentration of 0 0.125 of uh, hydroxide so of Okay. of hydroxide right and then now calculate the uh, the pH of the solution calculate the pH of the solution okay so now you what, what are you given you are given a solution with a concentration of what? 0 0.125 mole per dm cubed of hydroxide. And you are asked to calculate pH from that. You cannot calculate pH directly from this information because pH can be calculated like this negative log of concentration of what? Of hydronia. But you don't have a concentration of hydronia, isn't it? What do you have? You have concentration of hydroxide. So what do you do we can use the the formula of what of kw this one to calculate uh, the concentration of what of hydronia so we proceed to use this uh, equation of kw okay so you write it first kw is equal to that it's going to be awarded a mark okay and then now you proceed to say uh, OH minus is equals to 1 times 10 to the power negative 14. Okay. So now uh, we are given a concentration of what? Concentration of hydroxide is 0, 0,12. 
right so that hydroxide will be multiplied by what that hydronium isn't it is equals to 1 times 10 exponent negative uh, 14 so notice now we have uh, a variable which is our hydronium so we can divide both sides by what by uh, 0, 0,125 0,125 so uh, cancelling uh, uh, 0, 0,125 both sides okay we have what now uh, we have concentration of hydronium is equals to so 1 times 10 in a 14 over 0 0.125 so we have uh, what we have 8 uh, times 10 uh, exponent negative 14 mole per dm cube of what of hydronium so how do we calculate the pH now we can use the pH formula because now the pH formula uh, requires hydronium and now we know how much is hydronium so and then we'll substitute the concentration of hydronium 8 times 10 exponent negative 14 so uh, negative log of okay. So now my pH is what is 13,1. So that's how you, you, you calculate the pH from given uh, hydroxide uh, concentration. Okay, guys. So uh, now, uh, example 3. Example 3. Okay. So, uh, well, I, th I think we have done something that I was about to ask. But then, um, mm, okay, I'll ask this later on. So, I guess now we can conclude this video okay so let me give you uh, an exercise okay so number one you're going to calculate um, calculate the pH of a solution of hydroxide solution of hydroxide with concentration with concentration uh, 3.0 times 10 to the power minus 3 uh, mole per dm cubed okay and then number 2 uh, so number two what will you do uh, calculate the pH of a solution of a solution containing uh, sulfuric acid with concentration of zero comma 
uh, 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 one mole per decimeter cube. Okay. So now do this first. So what are what, what are we going to do here? The first one calculating the pH from the given uh, hydroxide concentration. Okay. So first things first, number one. What can we do? We can calculate pOH, right? Number one. Then number two, we will calculate what pH. Okay. So now let's start. Uh, pOH is equal to negative log of what concentration of what of hydroxide. Okay, so they've given us the concentration of hydroxide. Uh, so, how much is the concentration? 3 times 10 to the power negative 3. Okay, so now. Substituting the, how much do we have? We have pH of 2.5, uh, 2.52. Yes, 2.52 uh, value of pA of pOH. Okay. So now, but what is the question asking for? The question is asking for what? For pH. So how are we going to calculate the pH? Uh, we'll use this formula pH plus pOH is equal to 40. So I will substitute my pOH in here. So pH plus uh, 2,52 is equal to 40. So I take 2.52 to the other side. So pH is equal to 14 minus 2.52. So uh, I have 14 minus 2. 52 which is 11.48 yeah 11.48 okay, so this is uh, my pH so number two what is the question asking uh, on number two so the question is asking that calculate the pH of a solution that contain sulfuric acid its concentration of 0, 0,1 uh, mole per dm cubed. Okay. So now we are given uh, the analytical concentration of sulfuric acid. They say it's what 0, 0,1 mole per dm cubed. What are we required to calculate? We are required to calculate pH, right? And pH can be calculated from what? From concentration of hydronium ion, isn't it? So, uh, so now, what are we going to do? We need to know how much is the concentration of hydronium ion in this sulfuric acid. So, you take that sulfuric acid solution, uh, you write it's aqueous uh, 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 reaction okay and then now uh, when sulfuric acid is in water it forms two hydronium ions uh, and then what and the sulfate ions okay so now we can see that uh, for every one mole of uh, H2SO4 uh, what 2 moles 2 moles of hydronium ion will be formed ok similarly uh, in concentrations uh, for every uh, analytical concentration of uh, 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 sulfuric acid it will be what two concent uh, uh, two twice the concentration of what of hydronium. 
okay so now you can see that the ratio is one is two, one is to two okay one is to two so now what do we have we have concentration of 0 comma 1 of what of the acid so what about the hydronium the hydronium is x okay so if you cross multiply you have x uh, multiply and then here we have 0 comma 1 multiplied by 2 okay so how much do we have we have 0 comma 2 so x is equal to 0 comma 2 all right so now we know that oh now our hydronium concentration is what 0 comma 2 mole per decimeter cube so what can we do now we can now calculate ph ph is given by negative log of what of hydronium uh, concentration so negative log uh, of 0 comma 2 so what will be the answer the answer is 0 comma uh, 698 which is 0 comma 7 okay 0 comma 7 so this is the pH that you were uh, 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 required to calculate okay so that's all there is to it ladies and gentlemen thank you uh, please keep well um, I know these videos they consume a lot of data so I would suggest that if uh, uh, you have a friend you guys can try to to negotiate and say you, let's buy daily bundle maybe you contribute 10 rand 10 rand and then you buy a daily bundle and then you download the videos and then you distribute them amongst yourselves even if you are four or five you can come up with data and buy a daily bundle of one gig and download the videos and share amongst yourselves uh, so that you guys will be helped okay i want you to pass uh, it is not about the views i want you uh, to pass guys okay thank you uh, i love you the, uh, the people of the portal okay thank you guys